Hey, we are two Star Wars nerds, and we have been doing something called Motivational Mondays. And we're actually going to switch it up. We're going to be calling these Star Wars Wisdom from here on out. Mm -hmm. um, and really what we want to do is we want to pull wisdom that we see from the Star Wars movies and from the TV shows. And we want to just share our thoughts on some of these things, mm -hmm. some of the more real life, deeper applications. But before we get into that, if you guys didn't know, we actually do giveaways at every single one of our sub goals. Mm -hmm. And at the time of this recording, our next sub goal is 100 subscribers. And uh, we're going to keep doing them pretty much forever. And so as long as you check the description and you check the about section on our channel, you'll see what the next giveaway is. Um, it's really simple. All you have to do is hit the red subscribe button and you're just going to be in the loop of when we do giveaways. Mm -hmm. But you know what? With that, let's jump into this. In The Phantom Menace, one of the best lines is from Qui-Gon Jinn to Jar Jar Binks. And he says, the ability to speak does not make you intelligent. So good. And this has been memed over and over and over. But there's, there's truth to this. So much truth. Not only was Qui-Gon uh, being quite abrasive to Jar Jar. It's a stressful situation. Um, but um, we noticed from the Phantom Menace, all of the Star Wars wisdom talks have been from Qui-Gon. Yeah. He's Guy like, full of wisdom. He's like the mountain mystic, yep. you know, and there, there's some good stuff that George wrote for him. Mm -hmm. But, you know, here's, here's something that's really important. The amount of words you say does not, I guess, equate to how um, we're, we're not going to talk about intelligence. We're going to talk about wisdom. Mm -hmm. The amount that you speak doesn't mean that's the same amount that you're wise. Right. Just because you can say a lot of words doesn't mean that they are all wise. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I, I have a, a thought I wanted to share on this very thing. Um, and then I want to hear what you think, too. We had some really good conversation about this. Mm -hmm. So what I used to do, I used to just be a very quiet individual i used to not really talk to anyone and uh, people would tell me all the time man you're so wise and it was basically this concept was um, happening in my life where because i was very intentional for when i spoke people really perceived it as wisdom mm. but really what i was doing is this I, I understood that there are multiple sides to a story yeah. and life isn't simple it's very complicated there's a lot of nuance and it's really easy to get upset and to speak definitively mm -hmm. and i've heard people even say this you know that um all blanket blanket statements are false mm -hmm. and the irony of that is you know um it's a blanket it's, statement <laughs> exactly and you know i think it's so true because i think it's really important to understand there should be a gentleness mm -hmm. in our speech. And I found that that gentleness can diffuse anger. Yeah, There's a time for anger. Uh, we call it like a righteous anger. Mm -hmm. um, and anger is a valid emotion, but a lot of times we just speak out of anger and we say things we didn't mean. Right. Or for me, I say things when I was hungry. <laughs> um, hangry. Yeah, you know, when I'm hangry, you know, I say things that, that I don't really mean. But... I, I found this, that usually when I say things and I'm like, man, why did I say that? Where did that come from? Mm -hmm. Really what's happening is I'm speaking from my heart. Yep. It, this isn't some foreign thing that was in me. Like it's things that I've cultivated mm -hmm. within my heart. And that's actually what's coming out. And so just because I have the ability to say words doesn't mean I'm saying the right words. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean I'm using words in the right way. And uh, in, a, in a few minutes, you know, I want to get into how I think we should use our words. But when we were talking about this, you had some cool thoughts. So, you know, right off the top, you know, what does this wisdom mean to you? I think this is a very wise line. Like you said, Qui-Gon has a lot of these, but the ability to speak does not make you intelligent. I know personally for me, I can be very emotional and sometimes I want to speak from those emotions when I haven't processed yet. 
Um, so I've been working on for years, most of my 20s, you know, like just because I feel something doesn't mean I need to say always what's on my mind. Like I need to process alone. I need to process before I'm just splatting out, you know, word vomiting, vomiting out my emotions to whoever. Um, I don't need to say everything that I think. And I think that's um, that's something that I learned that has been trans transformative. And I don't, yeah, it's been transformative because I don't have to say everything that I think and I don't have to, um, you know, like defend myself or I don't have to try to explain things um, if I'm still processing them and I'm not ready to speak on whatever that is, I don't have to speak. And I think so, t so many, so often um, I get caught up in wanting to just say things because, oh, I need to explain, I need to say this, I need to say that. But really, I just need to like just be silent and process and say what I like, process eternally and say to myself what needs to be said in this moment. And I need to be OK not saying everything that I'm feeling because it's not always necessary to say everything in that moment or to that person. Yeah. And, you know, a journey that you've been on and I've been on as well, we found that. Your emotions are valid yes. and your emotions are true, mm -hmm. but they can also be like a, a colored lens that you see life through. Yeah, and they like blind you to everything else. Yeah, and they it taints everything. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes the things we perceive aren't actually the way they are. Yep. And it feels weird because our, our experience is so real. But here's, here's a, a, a precarious position you were put in this weekend. You know, you met someone for the first time, mm -hmm. and uh, they did the very thing you talked about. They, there was so much in their <laughs> life they had not processed. Yes. Um, they talked to you for probably about half an hour and didn't really let you speak. No, I didn't get to get one word in. And basically, it was like, hey, you know, my parents were in a cult, and they forced me into this cult, and... You know, then I joined the military to leave and then I got into drugs. But then it was just like this whole like processing before you. And, and mm -hmm. I've explained it this way because I felt this. Our lives are like a uh, like a champagne bottle yeah. and there is external pressure shaking us. Mm -hmm. And eventually that pressure of the contents inside of the carbonation and the champagne mm -hmm. becomes greater than the glass or greater than the cork. Mm hmm. And sometimes all it takes is someone saying a one little thing and you become uncorked right. and everything spills out. Right. Or s everyone you meet, you're like, I need to release this. Mm -hmm. And you just dump it mm -hmm. all over someone. And what's really difficult about that is exactly what Qui-Gon says. The ability to speak does not make you intelligent. And I believe you could interchange intelligent with wise. Mm -hmm. Um, because, you know, here's something I aim to do. I'm not perfect at this. And please, if, you, if you're hearing us right now, we are not perfect no. at all. This is a journey that we are on for the rest of our lives. Mm -hmm. But I aim to be the most encouraging person in the room. Mm -hmm. My goal with every conversation is that people leave me encouraged. Mm -hmm. You know, really what I want at the end of the day is I want people to leave me feeling loved. I want them to leave me feeling valued, mm -hmm. heard, understood, and important. Mm -hmm. You know, I, d I don't want people to leave me feeling down, feeling negative, feeling less than. Right. You know, I, I think that's where real wisdom comes from. Mm -hmm. And I think the, the wisdom is how do you honor somebody? How do you honor this this beautiful life that was created. How do you how do you honor um, how do you honor someone that's even hard to honor? Mm -hmm. How do you love someone that's hard to love? Because here here's the thing, we've talked about this quite extensively. Um, I'm just gonna say it outright. I think any fool can speak negatively about someone. Any fool can love people who love them. Mm -hmm. Any fool can only honor people who honor them mm -hmm. that's easy right i mean <laughs> surround yourself with people who love you yeah it's easy to be you know 
great to them. Mm -hmm. But I think it takes true wisdom to understand the value of life, to understand the beauty of life, the gift mm -hmm. of life. Um, it takes true wisdom to honor. And I think when we're talking about the ability to speak, it doesn't make you intelligent or doesn't make you wise. I think so many people speak out of a place where they don't want to honor. Mm -hmm. They don't want to love. They just want to make themselves look good. Yep. They want to make themselves look great. They want to promote themselves. Um, you know, there's, there's a lot more I could say on this, but why don't you give us a closing word of wisdom, a closing thought on this matter? I think what you said was really good. It kind of covered everything. The only thing I can think to add is finding that balance because even with this quote it's not talking about like if you're struggling or in pain or whatever to not it's not saying to keep that to yourself and um not speak on that like that it, there's times where you need to go to someone and you need to open up you need to ask for help this is a completely different topic so i just wanted to make sure we made that clear um but on this topic yeah just knowing that you don't not everything has to be said that you're thinking um, and you want to choose your words wisely and like my mom always said when I was growing up if you don't have something nice to say don't say anything at all yeah and that's good you know um, I, I think there are so many foolish things that I've said in my life that I'm like man I shouldn't have said that mm -hmm. you know but um, Same. you know at the end of the day I want to be a person who who speaks truth who speaks wisdom and somebody who makes an impact in those around me. Yeah. So me with too. that, we are two Star Wars nerds and may the force be with you always. always.